our old pal Don Lemon has mm. resurfaced or is about to resurface. Resurface, And I realize that the magnanimous move is to say, good for Don, he got canceled off of CNN, and now he's reinventing himself on Twitter. Well, <laughs> that's not what I say. I think he's disgusting, he hates America, he hates Republicans, and I'm not looking forward to his voice reemerging other than to mock it, which I 100% plan to do. That's the only silver uh, lining in yeah. this one for me. <laughs> Uh, so, but this is, so he's going out on X, all right? It's like, oh, great, Tucker did it on X and Tucker and I got fired on the same day, so I'll go out on X. And Don Lemon comes out with a post on X saying, it starts as follows. I've heard you and today I'm back, bigger, bolder, freer. I've heard you, like the, the masses are clamoring. Where's Don? <laughs> Why, we need They've been crying out for Don. <laughs> Come, come back into my life, Don. Um, Take some off so of he, Bill O'Reilly. <laughs> right. So, so here's Ridiculous. honestly, and, and like there, there are people welcoming Don back to the national conversation. And for those people and others, I just have a little reminder for you of who Don Lemon is and why we can't stand him. Here you go. Donald Trump couldn't find Ukraine on a map if you had the letter U and a picture of an actual physical crane <laughs> next to it. He knows that this is, you know, an, an administration defined by ignorance of the world. The people who aided and abetted Trump are stupid. I've lived in several red states. There are a lot of friends who I had to really get rid of. Credulous boomer rube demo that backs Donald Trump um, that, that wants to think <laughs> that, that, that Donald Trump's a smart one and they're y'all 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 elitist or them. <laughs> <laughs> They're taking down the statues and crime is rising crime as is they rising. defund police. Oh my gosh, it's so bad. You voted for Trump. You voted for the person who the Klan supported. You voted for the person who Nazis support. You elite us with your geography and your maps and your spelling, <laughs> even though my path and your reading. <laughs> if you're not going to get vaccinated, you don't want to social distance, you don't want to wear a mask, then maybe you don't want to go to the hospital. When you get sick, we have to stop demonizing people and realize the biggest terror threat in this country is white men. Your geography, <laughs> knowing other countries, sipping your latte, <laughs> all those lines on the map. <laughs> <laughs> Only them elitists know where Ukraine is. I think we have to stop coddling people when it comes to this and the vaccine saying, oh, you can't shame them. You can't call them stupid. You can't call them silly. Yes, they are. The people who are not getting vaccines, who are believing the lies on the internet instead of science, it's time to start shaming them. What else? Or leave them behind. Hold on, hold on. Sorry. <laughs> that was good. Sorry. Rick, you, that you, was a good one. I needed that. Oh, jeez, how painful. <laughs> what I love about I mean, Megan is... She, she always has the receipts. And I remember when he was fired, we did the show and you had all of this. And it's like you've got this memory of an elephant where you can just put it together again and you don't forget. And that's what I love is because there's so many people in, in media that like don't have a memory about all this and yep. think they can reinvent themselves. But no, we remember. I mean, this guy, not only all of the clips that you showed, which are obviously like horrifying stuff, but like, right. you know, there was there was like he was texting uh co-workers threatening things and like he oh, was yes. doing all sorts like of burner phones like yeah. psychotic shit but yeah uh, also right. also little, little things Kira too Phillips. did i megan did i ever tell you my don lemon story maybe did i tell you guys this i story? don't think so i was i was at a reception widely widely attended reception and i was standing in line for a drink and i waited a long time from for my drink and Don Lemon comes up and jumps in front of me. And and he's like, excuse me, I need to catch an airplane. And I was like, oh, okay, well, important, famous person. You got to catch an airplane. Fine, sure, go ahead. 45 minutes later, I'm in a conversation with somebody and he's there getting another drink. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> so he just of lied course. so that he could jump in front of the line. So I, I didn't think he was that bad until now. <laughs> <laughs> he's jumping people in line for drinks. Just random on. That's all random people. people. <laughs> well, uh, tens of like, people. I'm sorry. I, what was right he canceled for two it. minutes? He was off, off the air for two minutes. And now, like, and now and people are like, oh, maybe he's seen the light. You know, maybe he's going to come back more fair and balanced. Oh, sure. Sure, Jan. I mean, bullshit. He's not. In fact, hold on. Stand by. 
I've got it on my. Sure, Dan. Yeah. He's got more. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> There's, it's, he's Excellent. shown us who he is. Believe him. This is not <laughs> someone who I'm rooting for. I'm not. I'm not saying he should never be allowed to speak again. I'm just saying. I don't have to personally cheerlead it or think it's a good thing or recognize that this is like some sort of important voice in the conversation and yay for Elon for making it possible for him to come back. He's a prick and he fucking hates Republicans. <laughs> hates. I, it really, to me, it, it bothers me because I'll tell you, it's like, he's so, the, those clips are so perfect and credit to Debbie Murphy, Canadian Debbie put that together when, when he got booted because it shows that it's not just a partisan thing where like Jesse Kelly will come on this show and he'll talk about the communists on the far left. Like, like the communists want this, the communists want that. And it's funny, you know what I mean? But I'm telling you, he, that Jesse Kelly's not a hateful dude. I guarantee you he's got liberal and Democrat friends. Don Lemon truly hates the right half of the country, hates and would love to see almost all of them canceled who voted for Trump. So no, I'm not rooting for him in any way, shape or form. I mean, in that clip, multiple times, he was essentially wishing death upon people who disagree with him. Yeah. He was like, they don't get to yeah. go to the hospital. He said the biggest threat to America is white people. Yeah. Like, this is insane stuff. Like, <laughs> 20 years ago, these are like terror threats. 2024 is here. Sorting through your expense tracking, estimated payments, and all those deductions is overwhelming. It might lead to a failure to file or a failure to pay penalties that pile up on your tax debt. But you can check out Tax Network USA. The attorneys at Tax Network USA have been lifesavers for many. Their team has successfully saved clients over $1 billion in tax debts. Whether you're in the hole for ten grand or staring at a $10 million debt, they're ready to help you. Even if you haven't filed in one to five years or a whole decade, the expert attorneys and tax pros at Tax Network USA are equipped to secure the best settlement for you and to help you resolve all tax cases, no matter how they started. Go to taxnetworkusa.com slash Megan, or just call 1-800-245-6000. But contact them now as these tax debt relief programs are expected to change. Taxnetworkusa.com slash Megan, or call 1-800-245-6000 and tell them Megan Kelly sent you there. Hey, thanks so much for watching. If you like what you just saw, hit the subscribe button for more clips and full episodes.